Hi, this is Terry Vanoy, and welcome into my online classroom. This is Math with Mr. V. I want you to remember that while you watch these videos, these lesson videos, I am going to talk you through the concepts and then present a problem for you to try. So grab a piece of paper and you can pause, rewind, even fast forward anytime you'd like. So good luck. And let me know how it goes. In this triangle we're solving for x and y and we are going to use the geometric mean theorem that talks about the leg of the right triangle. In this case the leg of the right triangle is 3 that we're talking about and we're trying to solve for x and y. So the leg of the triangle is the geometric mean between the near part of the hypotenuse which is x and the entire hypotenuse which is x plus 8. Now we're going to have to cross multiply and get x squared plus 8x equals 9. Subtract 9 from each side, which gives us our quadratic equation. x squared plus 8x minus 9 equals 0. Go ahead and try to factor this. Let's see what you got. We're going to have two groups here that are equal to 0. We know that we have to have an x in both places. The 9 is negative, so we need a, a positive and a negative sign. And it turns out that we are going to need a positive 9 right there and a negative 1 right there, which means to solve it, x has to be a negative 9 or has to be a positive 1. We know that in the diagram that x is a distance, and negative 9 would not make sense in this case. So x has to be a positive 1. 1. To solve for y, we're going to have to take a look at what kind of information we have right now. I'm going to redraw my triangles, and the leg of the triangle y is in relation to the 1 and the 8, which of course means a total of 9 for the hypotenuse. So we're going to use the geometric mean leg theorem in relation to the other leg. So y is the geometric mean, this time, between the near part of the hypotenuse, which is the 8, and the entire hypotenuse, which is 9. Cross multiply to get y squared equals 72. And when I get the square root, we can write it like this, square root of 72, which is really the square root of 9 times 8, simplifying the radical to be 3 radical 8. If I want it in decimal form, that would be about 8.5. Y equals 8. Y equals 8. All right, how did you do? Hopefully you understood the concepts. Um, remember that um, if you want a related video or a concept that's similar and or just extra practice, email me and let me know. I can record a new one for you and we can customize it. Once again, this is Terry Vanoy in my online classroom with Math with Mr. V.